there's one thing that all of us need to practice more when it comes to creating authentic content. It's the practice of not being afraid of losing people, not being afraid of people unsubscribing and unfollowing you and even occasionally a negative comment here or there. I mean, I look at so many people who want to create an authentic business and I just see so much fear. And the fear is what's stopping you from being your most powerful self. Especially here on Instagram, there is so much um, facade. There's so much fakeness. And the fakeness and the facade and the perfection that you see, so much is fear-driven. It's not really who they are. It's not who they are most of the time. They're just showing you their 1% perfect-looking self. Okay, now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have good-looking pictures on Instagram and you know, good-looking videos, of course. That's, but what I'm saying is that if it is driven by fear, a lot of us don't know it. A lot of us don't recognize that, oh, that's what's driving my marketing. That's what's driving my audience building is fear. Fear that I won't have enough. Okay, it's either fear or, or greed. Greed that I want more. I want always want more. Now, why do you have to be, have everyone's attention? Why do you have to? Because if, remember, you only need 100 true fans in the lifetime of your business to have a thriving six-figure business for years or decades. Just 100 people. There are hundreds of millions you could possibly reach. You don't care about the 300 million people who don't like you. You just need the 100 who do, who do not just like you, who love you, who rave about you because your journey and the way that you're expressing, exploring, and experimenting with your journey is exactly their journey too. And that's the thing I want to say about becoming more powerfully you and practicing fearlessness is that it is not something you kind of go into therapy for, for 10 years, become fearless and authentic, and then show up on, on content. No, that's, that's not how it works. Please don't wait until you are auth perfectly authentic before you show up. Don't even wait, uh, you know, today, go, oh, I got to wait until I, I feel really good until I show up. I've said this before, but I practice showing up in suboptimal conditions because what is authenticity? is who you are right now. And the more, the less perfect you are, the less you have to hold things together and be perfect, the more authentic you can be and the more of a genius you can tap into, which is the, the, the true creativity within yourself and the true power within yourself. So don't be afraid to lose people. If you write an authentic newsletter and you get people unsubscribing, that's a good sign. Like when I make a video, right, when I, when I may put something out, right, if I see people unsubscribing, I'm like, whoa, that, that, I, showed up, I showed up in a way that was more true for my true fans and therefore less interesting for non-true fans, you see. So if you're, if you're getting unsubscribes, great. You should pay attention to, uh, now, assuming that you showed up authentically, if, you're, if you showed up because you were, you were angry and offensive and you're just trying to offend people, or, or whatever you, you, you weren't your, you, you weren't, you weren't, um, being your normal authentic self, then, then that's one thing. But most of the time, if you show up with service, with a heart of service, you show up with a, a passion to explore your experiences and your ideas and to say something that might help somebody else. Then if people unsubscribe, great. That means you've been authentic. If people unfollow you, great. That means they are not meant for you. Don't be greedy. Don't, you don't have to have everyone's attention. You just need the 100. And the 100 might take you six months to, 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 to grow or, or six years. I don't know. It depends on how good you are at distributing your content as well. I've talked about this before. My favorite way of distributing is through Facebook ads. I spend about $1,000 a month on Facebook ads. You don't have to spend that much. You can spend $30 a month. We'll even do, you're doing better than most small business owners at $30 a month. Can you spend $30 a month on Facebook ads? I hope you can say yes, right? But if you can spend $100, $200 a month on Facebook ads, that's even better. But um, either through Facebook ads or through joint ventures, I'm gonna teach a class on joint ventures in the next couple of weeks. Those are my favorite ways of distributing content. 
And so once you learn how to distribute content, then it's just every day showing up as your authentic self. You don't have to make content every day, but you know, at least once a week, okay? Show up as your authentic self. And it's not about going to therapy, getting, becoming perfectly authentic, then showing up. It's, it's public journaling. It's actually figuring out what you want to say on video. It's the process of exploring in, in the eyes of your audience because your very exploration and journey is what your audience also really do, is doing within themselves, you see? So that's why it's valuable. So practice fearlessness because that allows you to be more of your powerful self. And it's also what we're called to in, in, in life in general anyway. And the more you do that, the more you become truly creative and the more you draw forth your true fans. I hope this helps. Take care.